Good afternoon, everybody. I decided that if I'm going to continue with YouTube, I'd better introduce you to my significant other. Or others. Here they come now. Darlings! Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There's for you. And come here, Miss Buttercup. Come on. Come on. And here's Miss Buttercup now. Oh, barely. It's not your turn yet. <laughs> Everybody, meet Barely. It's not your turn yet. Good boy, sit. This is Buttercup. Hi, Buttercup. Are you happy to be on camera? This is my dog. My family's dog, but you're mine, huh? Yes, thank you. Buttercup was about one year old in 2008 when we saw her listed on Pet Finder, which is a wonderful place to find your beloved rescue pet. Oh, are you miserable? I'm sorry. I guess I need to resituate a little so I don't have to hold her up. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Who even needs my head? There we go. And a cushion for the princess because she's a little ticked off that we're doing this. Buttercup, say hello to everybody. So as I was saying, in 2008, it was about a year after my precious dog Jack died, we went on to Pet Finder, which is where we found both Buttercup and Mr. Bear, who's doing a jig underneath me and wants to be in on it. Your turn will come soon, Casanova, don't worry. And she was taken in. Um, so Pet Finder, if you don't know, and this is not sponsored, I'm just telling you, Pet Finder is a website where they link to all local shelters and you can search by breed. It was mom's dream to have a miniature wire hair dachshund. I just looked out. She's actually a tween, tweeny, um, and her legs are a little longer, so she might have a little something else in there, which makes it very healthy and very robust. So another uh, rescue named Cuddly Canines had her. I'll link them down below too, in case you're in the Los Angeles area and looking for a sweet, sweet, beautiful animal to take home. So Buttercup was not even one year herself, and she'd already been abandoned, full of pups. Ooh, should I not talk about it? I'll make it quick. Full of pups that didn't make it. And when we first met her, we never ever thought she'd, um, she'd wag her tail, even. I remember I took her out in the front yard, and I was like, hey, Buttercup, like that first couple days here and she just dropped to the ground and she's you know not, not too thrilled about this right now but normally she is a tractor she loves to go out she loves to go on walks she loves to meet other dogs dig holes chase bears anything she just knows how to put on the long dachshund face when we're, when we're making her do things thank you but look at that face anyway she's queen bee this my girl. What's that? What's that? What's that? Just the most beautiful creature in the whole world. And her brother would agree. He's not really her brother, but he is now. She is an ego trip dog. She'll meet strangers and they'll be like, oh, this one likes me. And they're like, yeah, if you can make barely like you, that's going to be impressive. What was that? Oh yeah, well I haven't forgotten. In fact, let's go show them now. Mr. Barely by this time, but it's his turn. His turn for me to be so mean. What a horrible life they have. <laughs> Ladies, protect your heart. Here he is, my little sunshine, my sweet boyfriend. So Barely in some ways was even in worse shape 
when we got him. Um, and he still has a lot more anxiety than Buttercup does. But he's our big, strong bear. His name is Barely, spelled B-E-A-R-L-Y. I'm so out of breath. Oh. If you ever read the book Heidi with Shirley Temple, no. If you ever saw the movie Heidi with Shirley Temple or read the book, you may remember Swanley and Barely. Oh, good boy. And they were the two goats. And at first we were gonna name him Bingley after Mr. Bingley but we just thought he was such a big, tough bear. We wanted to keep that affirmation going. And he is, he will protect Buttercup till the bitter end. He's much more of a cuddler than she is, even though she's the ego trip dog. He will take care of little fluffy toys, throw them up in the air and play with them, whereas Buttercup will just rip them apart. <laughs> like, she's so oh, funny, are you nervous? Okay, I'll hurry up. Buttercup will just, shred them like prey. He loves Buttercup more than anything in the whole world. We're so happy he's here. We got barely one year later in 2009. So they said about two. Um, he almost didn't make it. But we're just the luckiest people ever. So this guy around. You can lie down if you want. You want to lie down? Oh, so good boy. Oh, okay. I can't advocate animal rescue dog rescue enough. They had a lot of baggage when we got them, and in Barely's case, he still has some. But he's so cheerful and good-natured. With my first dog, when I was a kid, he was a purebred, so I understand. There's no judgment here. I adored him. I loved Jack, but he had even worse issues, and yet we had him from when he was a puppy. I don't know if it was inbreeding or whatever, but he would attack anyone who came to the dinner table. <laughs> And we worked around it, it was okay. Some people thought we were nuts. But with Buttercup and Barely, they were already adults. They have such, such gratitude. They're so friendly. He's fearful with strangers and children. But they're so much steadier than our dear little Jack. So you never know. A lot of people say, oh, I went straight to the breeder so I knew what I'd get. But I would argue that meeting a, an adult dog, you get a pretty, uh, I think you get a better a better idea in the long run. I could just sit here and ramble forever with you. Buttercup has just gone off all ticked off. Barely, we think, has Dachshund in him. He's really, really fluffy, kind of gauzy, so we think perhaps some poodle or something. But he's just an absolute love. That's our boy. That's your boy. That's your, that's your boy. You're gonna get a lot more screen time than Buttercup because of your good naturedness, Barely. <laughs> See what I mean about cuddling? All right. Well, thanks for meeting my dogs. It means a lot for me to brag about them. We're falling asleep. We're gonna make everyone in there fall asleep if we don't have more energy. Bye, everyone.